So you landed your first ever sales job because you saw this as the opportunity of a lifetime. You're gonna get into sales, it's gonna be the beginning of a great career, you're gonna make a lot of money and you're gonna be a top performing salesperson, only to find out that a month or two into this role, you're starting to feel absolutely miserable and you've regretted that you ever got into sales. You have no business experience at all, in fact, the people that hired you knew you had no business experience because you were upfront about that. You also have no sales experience, which the owner of the company knew, but hired you anyway. You believe you were hired because you're comfortable putting yourself out there. You have no problem striking up a conversation with complete strangers. In fact, you enjoy it. You're also able to remain calm under pressure, or so you think. Although now that you're under some pressure, Maybe you're not feeling so calm after all. And you've received zero training at this new company and you feel lost. You don't know what you should be doing, especially when it comes to gaining new clients. You don't know whether you should move on to a sales role with another company or get out of sales altogether. And you feel like you've been set up to fail. Yeah, you haven't quit because you see that there's so much potential even in the current job that you're in but because you really haven't been provided with any of the tools you feel you need to succeed, you think that success is beyond your grasp. And on top of it all, you've got no salary because you're working on a 100% commission basis. So what advice, what suggestions would I give you as a new salesperson? That's what this video is about. So let's get into it. So the first thing I would say to you is that you have to understand that if you're going to succeed in sales, it's going to require a lot of hard work. And there's definitely a learning curve that goes like that. So are you selling in an office or are you going out and visiting customers and prospects? What do your colleagues do? What are the people who are succeeding in the company that you're in right now doing? Take a look around, find out who the best salesperson or best salespeople are in your organization and start collaborating with them. Start asking them questions, ask them to give you the help that you need to find out what it is that they're doing because they obviously have a system or a process that they've put in place. So you need to find out what that is in order to help yourself to set up a system and a process so you can succeed. Once you've done that, ask the salespeople to allow you to go out on some sales calls with them so you can see what they're doing. You can see how they talk to people, the questions they ask, how they listen. You can watch their body language. You get to listen to the word tracks that they use when they're talking to prospects. You'll start to learn how they do their discovery to find out what the pain points and the needs of their clients or prospects are. And then once they know those, how they position your company's products as the solution to their prospects, needs and pain points. Another thing that I would suggest you do is go and talk to the management in your company. If you can talk to the owner, try and uh, set an appointment to do so and ask them to provide you with some training. That might mean that they uh, can source an outside training company, come in and give you some training. It might mean that your manager can give you some sales training, which your manager should be doing anyway. Now, unfortunately, a lot of sales managers don't do any training or coaching of their salespeople, even though that's one of their most important roles. But there's no harm in asking for some coaching, for some training from your manager. And hopefully you'll be pleasantly surprised when he or she says, sure, I didn't know you needed any training or coaching, but I'd be happy to give you some. Another thing to do is invest in some books on the topic of self. There are th literally thousands of books on the topic and they cover every single thing you need to know about how to sell effectively. So start educating yourself. After all, leveling up is your responsibility. In the end, whether or not you're going to succeed in the sales role you're in right now or any sales role in the future is completely up to you. The other thing that you should do is think about hiring yourself a sales coach. A good sales coach will help you set up your own sales process and help you to put together a strategy so that you can fill your pipeline with prospects who are ready to buy your products and services. Do this, go to your management, go to the owner of the company if you can and ask them to provide you with some extra money, maybe $250, $300 every month that you can put towards your own training. So you can hire a trainer and a sales coach who can work with you one-on-one. -on -one. 
The principles, skills, and techniques that the very best salespeople in the world use to succeed are applicable regardless of the industry you're in. So an experienced sales coach and trainer will be able to help you to succeed in your sales role. So there's nothing to lose to go and ask for some extra money as a monthly stipend that you can put towards your own training and development. And if you're working for a good company, they should be willing to do that for you if they're not going to provide the training for you. So don't give up. Remember, selling is hard and when you have no experience, it's going to take time in order for you to develop your skills to a point where you're going to feel comfortable, where you're going to be able to achieve the kind of goals that you want to achieve in your sales role. But remember this, the difference between the most successful salespeople and those who are mediocre all boils down to their persistence and their willingness to continue to level up and improve themselves so they can succeed in their role. And I believe you can succeed in your role too. So put into practice the suggestions I've given here. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, hit the bell icon so you don't miss any of the content that I put out on a regular basis. And remember, I'm here for you. So if you need some help, you can always send me a text message to 204-806-2977. That's 204-806-2977. I've got your back and you can email me. Email Mike Allison Coaching at gmail.com. Have a great day.